guys, welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Ashley, if you didn't know, and today I want to talk to you guys about something that I am fairly passionate about, and that is sustainable life changes that you need to make for your health. So this is just a compilation of things that I've changed in my life over the years that I have found have made a huge difference in my life. So over time, I've been educated that there are some things in life that I just took as standard practice that are actually not good for you or the environment and I want to share them all with you so that you can have your eyes opened as well and hopefully make some changes that will help. So the first change is to switch all your products in your home to fragrance free and dye free. So like your dish soap, your laundry detergent, your shampoo and conditioner, your candles even. And when I say fragrance free, I mean artificial fragrances. Essential oils are a great alternative that are still healthy for you. And the reason for this is there's this little clause where you you don't have to list all your ingredients on your product if you put it under fragrances. Because fragrances are like their secret ingredients on how they get something smelling so good, so these companies don't have to label what's in their fragrances. But a lot of the times these products are made in third world countries or developing countries that just don't have the same standards as us in North America and other places. Um, and so there's been a lot of cases where really harmful chemicals are found in these products under that fragrance label. So things like mercury and lead have been found in certain products. So I would just suggest maybe looking into this on your own, do your own research. I'm not the professional here, I'm just going based on what I've researched. And then with dyes, it's just another thing that's not necessary and can have negative effects as well. So you might as well just not include that. Plus a lot of products that are fragrance free are also dye free and like one of the mind-blowing things I had was like why is laundry detergent so blue right like that deep blue color why is it in there because you don't want your clothes blue and then it doesn't turn your clothes blue but it's just so blue why <laughs> you know the lucky thing is that there are a lot of alternatives out there that I have found are fairly inexpensive if you find the right stuff. So where I live in the supermarket, there's a whole aisle for health foods and health products, and you can find all your fragrance-free, dye-free items there. So examples are laundry detergent, free nature, free of perfumes and dyes. And this is a huge bottle and was definitely cheaper than Tide, I'll tell you that. And then I have some dish soap that's 98% natural dish soap. And this one does have scent, but it's naturally scented with lavender. And then this is just a little like air freshener room spray with lemon, rosemary, and eucalyptus. So there are a lot of options out there. Again, I encourage you to do your own research and find out what works best for you. So the second suggestion goes along with the first one, where instead of buying these products without fragrance or dye, you can use your own products at home to clean your house. So initially I thought, you know, I need the heavy cleaning products to clean my house because they do the best job, right? But everyone knows that bleach isn't good for you and there's a lot of other cleaning products that are not good for you. And I have found some really good alternatives that work just as well. One example is using baking soda to clean your sink. For the longest time, I just never had a shiny sink because I didn't want to use harsh chemicals and I would just clean it with hand soap and it would just be as it is. But using baking soda to scrub down your sink actually does an amazing job and it looks brand new by the end. So I would just suggest trying to try out some of the homemade cleaning products because a lot of the times they do a really good job. The third change is to switch from dryer sheets to wool dryer balls. So the health effects I'm worried about is in those dryer sheets, again, they're full of fragrance and a lot of nasty chemicals that t stick to your body, go into the air, etc. And again, these fragrances are not disclosed and a lot of these dryer sheets have been found to have endocrine disrupting compounds which basically mimic the hormones in your body and cause issues. Like you should never disrupt your home hormones, right? So I just wanna stay far away from those. The wool dryer balls do a great job. Add a little essential oil to them before you put them in the dryer 
you want. And also, why do you need your clothes smelling lemon fresh? Why can't they just smell like nothing and clean? You know, why do they have to have a scent? These are my conspiracy theories. <laughs> so the fourth change that I would suggest to you is to get yourself an attachable bidet for your toilet. Now the bidet that I use is from the company Tushy. They actually very generously sent it to me and I really wanted to talk to you guys about it because it is life changing and I don't know how I've lived without it. So the reason I wanted to switch to a bidet is that, for one, toilet paper is bad for the environment, right? It's made of trees, obviously bad. Also the, pr the production of toilet paper, not good for the environment. Plus, you know, toilet paper is bleached with chlorine, which like can't be good for you either, you know? So I started looking into bidets and I found the company Tushy and I actually wanted to reach out to them and ask if they wanted to partner and they reached out to me before I even could. So what perfect collaboration. I'm so excited to share this product with you guys. The health reasons why I think this is really important because it helps fight off hemorrhoids, UTIs, yeast infections, fissures. It's just better hygiene after sex or during menstruation. It's also really good for anyone who has IBS. It's just a less invasive way to clean yourself and like the true conspiracy here is why do we clean ourselves with a dry paper towel? You know like why don't we wash ourselves <laughs> is the real question. I'm also really excited about the Tushy Bidet because as some of you probably know, I'm pregnant and postpartum is going to be rough as I hear and having a bidet will be life changing to make sure that I'm staying sanitary and clean and healing properly and I don't have to use one of those stupid little water bottles they give you in the hospital to spray yourself. <laughs> some other really cool products that Tushy offers are Tushy towels which are these little bamboo towels to dry your cheeks from overspray which is a hilarious sentence. Also bamboo toilet paper because not everyone wants to solely rely on the bidet and also for guests and etc. They only use some of the quickest growing bamboo to make their toilet paper so it is the most sustainable option which is awesome. And they also have this little travel bidet which just expands like this and you fill with water and you spray it. <laughs> And this is going to come in a lot of handy when I am in the hospital after giving birth. So I want to give you guys a little tour of my bidet and show you how it works. Hello and welcome to my toilet. This is my bathroom. I just wanted to interrupt to actually show you the Tushy bidet in action. Um, so here it is. So you can see here, this is the little nozzle that you turn to turn it on and to self-clean and then you have a little adjustment here to switch the position of the little sprayer thing. So it's super easy to set up, like I said, it goes right under the toilet seat and one hose that connects to the inlet of your water. You can do it in like 10 minutes. So I will show you how it works and I will be spraying water all over my bathroom. The sacrifices I make. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that sprayed all over my door and thankfully avoided the camera. And then you turn the other way and it just cleans itself. So I hope you've enjoyed my toilet here. Uh, we have a great relationship and a lot of good times together and I will take you back to your regular scheduled programming. So Tushy was nice enough to give you guys a discount code if you want to buy one. And I'm so serious you guys, I am so excited about this product for you. I really wanted to hold off doing a partnership until I found a company that I really aligned with and a product I could really support and I'm so serious about this. I've been raving about it to everyone. <laughs> so the coupon code is Embers Ash, and you can get 10% off your order just enter it in at the end of your checkout so yeah let me know if you guys order it and how you like it because I'm so excited about this product and I can't wait to hear from you guys okay so now that I'm over with that rant let's move on to suggestion number five so staying on the topic of the vagine or the hoo-ha or the secret lady bits as they say uh, I'm gonna talk about periods <laughs> so for many years I was using tampons like many women do but right before I got pregnant, I switched over to using a diva cup and period panties. Now the reason for this switch is that I found out that cotton is the most sprayed crop in the world with pesticides and sanitary pads and tampons are made of 
exactly cotton and you're shoving that thing up your hoo-ha and letting all the pesticides destroy your body. Yes, that's an exaggeration. <laughs> but it still stands true that I don't want to be putting pesticides near my reproductive parts, right? So I made the switch to the Diva Cup and you can use any, um, what do you call those, period cups, whatever. I just use the Diva Cup. But um, it was definitely a transition. I felt like I was 12 again because I didn't know how to respond to my body menstruating, but I got the hang of it eventually and it is so life changing. So I only have to change it morning and evening and that's it and you just forget about your period. And then on those lighter days, having a pair of period panties is so awesome because it just feels like you're wearing regular underwear and it's so much more sustainable and so much better for your health. I'm very passionate about these topics if you can't tell. So I won't show you my diva cut because I mean like I feel like you've seen one before. But these are the period panties that I was using. These are by NYX. They're nice because they're very like thin material and um, they're seamless. And then this is the absorbent pad in the middle. I wouldn't rave about NYX but like it works so pick a brand you like. And yeah, have a healthy vagina. And this is another smooth transition into change number seven. I have these all ordered, so they all link together. I hope you noticed, because I worked hard on that. But this one is again about pesticides. So coffee is the second most sprayed crop in the world. So if you're gonna go organic in anything, go organic in coffee, because it's kind of impossible to limit our pesticide intake nowadays with the food that we eat. But if you can try and avoid the foods that are mostly sprayed, I think that's a good enough switch. So change number seven that I would suggest to you all is avoiding aluminum-based deodorants. This isn't shocking new news, but I think it still is a really important one that I share with you all. I've been off of aluminum deodorant for, I don't know, like three years now, and it definitely was a journey of finding the deodorant that works for me. If you didn't know, aluminum clogs your pores and actually gets absorbed into your body, and there's been a lot of cases where women have been found with um, breast cancer kind of on the side of their breast, and people think that that is from the deodorant that they're wearing. So if that's true or false, I'm just avoiding it altogether because I'd rather be safe than sorry, as they say. Um, so the deodorants that I have found work best are my homemade beeswax deodorant. I did a video on that for you guys if you want to see it. And my next favorite option is the native deodorant. Now, like I said, I've tried a lot of deodorants and what I like about this is it has the texture of proper deodorant. I've tried some deodorants that are like very hard and like hurt to put on or you need it to, or even in my beeswax deodorant, you need it to melt first before you put on. Um, so this is nice that it applies just like a regular deodorant. The scent is really nice and honestly, I'm a pretty stinky person and I find that this has the best odor control out of any of them that I've used not sponsored, wish I was. And the last change that I have for you guys is to switch from using your plastic containers to just using beeswax wraps. So as a lot of you probably know, plastic containers can contain BPAs and those endocrine disrupting compounds, which are not good for you, right? So if you can avoid them, that's best. So basically all I do is I put my food products in a bowl or on a plate or whatever, and then I just cover it with a beeswax wrap. This one is by by Abigo, whatever the heck that is. Um, I really like these ones. I've also made my own from my own beeswax from my bees. Um, these are just such a staple and I don't even miss plastic containers. This, this is just life now. You know. Okay, so that was a long video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it and you got something really good out of it. Or even if this has just inspired you to look into your products and see if there's things that are a little fishy that you want to cut out. If you like this video, I think you might like my video where I talk about how to save money transitioning to zero waste. I myself am not completely zero waste, but I've made some changes in my life in that direction and I feel like you might get something out of that video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!